My name is Howard Berry. I'm the father of the late Staff Sergeant Joshua Berry. My son died of wounds that were sustained during the first Fort Hood shooting. You won't find Josh listed among the, the, the killed or the wounded. The Army forgot about him. So did our leaders in Washington. I've got some questions that I'd like, I'd like to ask uh, the good people uh, in this country. I'd like to ask some questions. Senator Rand Paul is running for the White House in 2016. And I'd like to know, Senator Paul, do you think that the, the Fort Hood shooting was handled appropriately? I mean, initially we called it a random act of violence in the workplace. It was later amended to a case of violent homegrown extremism. And I don't understand. I don't understand how, how there was so much uh, pivot and point politicking going on and, and folks playing scrabble with the truth. I'd like to know what you think about that, sir. I really would. I'd also like to know why you never supported my son. Josh was treated at the, at the WTU at Fort Knox after the shooting. He had Kentucky plates on his car. I believe that made him a constituent. I wrote you a letter in March of 2013. I got no response. I came to your office in November of 2013. I met with one of your staffers. At that time, I thought I had some support. I was soliciting support for the Fort Hood victims and their families. I thought I had some from you, but I didn't. The following February, I was told by the same gentleman that no, nah, that you weren't going to go ahead and, and stand up for him. And I don't get it, sir. You know, I, I, I don't. If that's the case, then I don't think that you would be a, a, a better commander in chief than the, the guy that's currently sitting in the White House. He told my son he had his back and he would get what he needed. It didn't happen there either. So, you know, I, I, I'd like to know what you think about vets. I think they should come first. I think that the veterans should come before all others. These folks volunteer to protect our freedoms. And I just see so many of them, so many of them suffering terribly, waiting for help that doesn't come. The VA is broken. I see men and women that are, that are going to the VA trying to get help. Veterans that are dying, waiting. Their cases are being put on hold. Their paperwork gets lost. Appointments that, that, that they can't get, treatment that they need. But you all keep funding them. You keep funding them, and I don't understand. There's got to be a better way. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on that. I'd also like to know what you think about the, the current suicide rate among veterans. Currently, there are, are 22 a day uh, vets that are taking their lives and one active duty. One active duty soldier, that's 23. Is that acceptable to you, Senator Paul? It sure isn't to me. My son took his life. My son died waiting for the help that never came. We're better people than this. We do deserve better leadership. I don't know if you're the guy to do it. I reached out to you. I reached out to you numerous times. I have no response. No response other than other than disappointment. No one spoke up for my son when they awarded the Purple Hearts and the Freedom Medals. Not one person said, "Hey, you forgot one." What about the What about the soldier that that, that was that was here at Fort Knox? No, nobody. Men and women are dying. They're dying every day. Vets are dying, and, and, and you know if. If this is okay with you, and I, I, I just I just think that that, that that veterans and their families and veterans friends they need to vote for somebody else. So, how about responding to this? You know, I, I really would. I'm gonna go ahead and and put this out there for what it's worth. I'm doing one on each and every and each and every candidate for the White House because I don't think that any of you measure up. I went door to door in the Senate. I went to all 100 offices. I went to most of the offices in the House, too. My son died of indifference, sir. He died of indifference. 
Our country turned their back on him. Our leaders did not measure up. I'd like to know what you think, Senator Paul. God bless. I miss my son.